Welcome to the first episode of Japan Politics Explained for 2022. This channel is back from a long hiatus to give you the latest news and analysis of Japanese politics to a global audience. In this video, we'll recap the major political events of 2021 to give you a sense of where we are today and take a look at what elections are scheduled for the upcoming year. Exactly one year ago, in January 2021, Yoshihide Suga was the Prime Minister of Japan, having taken over from Shinzo Abe three months prior. His approval rating had just begun to match his disapproval rating due to the government's slow response to a fresh wave of COVID 19 infections in the country. Fast forward to April, and we have the first national election under Suga in the form of by elections in Hokkaido, Nagano, and Hiroshima. The ruling Liberal Democratic Party's losses in all three prefectures. Began a string of embarrassing results for the prime minister that led to his resignation later in the year. The by elections are most notable for the Hiroshima race, in which a candidate backed by a coalition of opposition parties beat the ruling bloc candidate in what was seen as a strong LDP stronghold. A massive bribery scandal that led to an LDP lawmaker stepping down and triggering the by election was too much for the ruling party to overcome. Despite it being home to future Prime Minister Fumio Kishida. In July, we had the Tokyo Metropolitan Assembly election. The LDP was expected to win big here after having suffered a drubbing in 2017 at the hands of a regional party led by Tokyo Governor Yuriko Koike. The LDP narrowly became the largest party but gathered only a quarter of the seats up for grabs. Koike's party, Followed closely in second place, beating predictions that it would be lucky to even win a dozen seats. The national opposition also expanded its seat share, resulting in what was virtually a three way tie. The Yokohama mayoral election was the final nail in the coffin for Suga, who hails from the city to the south of Tokyo. The opposition candidate beat out Suga's right hand man, who stepped down as a cabinet member to run in the race. In a devastating blow to the prime minister. It was also around this time that many in the LDP were calling on Suga to resign. Suga's term as the president of the ruling Liberal Democratic Party was set to expire at the end of September, as he was serving the remainder of former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's third term. With the terms of lower house lawmakers expiring in October and necessitating an election, Many believed it was high time for a fresh face to lead the party into the election. In September, Suga announced he will not be seeking another term as LDP president, kicking off a hotly contested race between Fumio Kishida, who had planned to challenge Suga for the leadership seat, Taro Kono, a popular Suga ally, right wing fringe candidate Sanai Takaichi, and acting Secretary General Seiko Noda. Although the race was initially seen as a toss up with Kono seen as the favorite, Kishida and Takaichi formed an alliance to prevent Kono from winning. As the leader of the senior ruling party becomes prime minister in Japan, the win ensured that Kishida, who benefited from the alliance, became the 100th prime minister of Japan. Kishida dissolved the lower house to hold a general election in October while he was still in his honeymoon period. Many expected the opposition bloc to make significant gains and threaten the LDP's grip on a parliamentary majority, as the Constitutional Democratic Party and the Japanese Communist Party had been unifying their candidates to have a better shot at winning. However, Kishida's LDP managed to limit their losses to just 15 seats, while the CDP and JCP saw their seat counts drop. The libertarian Ishin no Kai quadrupled their seat count. Although most of their seats came from the Osaka prefecture and the nearby region. The CDP's upset loss led to the resignation of its leader, Yukio Edano. A party leadership election was held in November, with centrist Kenta Izumi winning in the runoff against liberal Seiji Osaka, while fellow liberal Chinami Nishimura and rising star Junya Ogawa were knocked out in the first round of voting. And that's where we are right now. With the next ordinary session of parliament scheduled to begin on January 17th, the Kishida led ruling bloc and the Izumi led opposition are expected to debate the government's COVID 19 measures amidst the spread of the Omicron variant 
as well as Kishida's economic overhaul initiative, painted as an effort to create a new form of capitalism. Now let's look at what's on the calendar for 2022. The biggest event of the year is the upper house election, scheduled for some time in July. Half of the 248 seats will be contested in the election held every three years. The focus is on whether the LGP and other parties that want to revise Japan's constitution, including the pacifist Article 9, can gain a two-thirds majority to launch formal deliberations on the issue. Pundits are also watching whether the new Izumi leadership of the CDP can find a way to unify opposition candidates with the JCP without angering more centrist supporters, like Rengo, the Labor Union Federation. We also have important regional elections, like the September Okinawa governorship race. Governor Deni Tamaki has been adamantly opposed to the central government's plan to build a military base in the Hineko district of the prefecture, so the LDP will try to replace him with a more cooperative leader. Meanwhile, the Tamaki camp will see whether it can fend off attacks by the LDP and continue its all-Okinawa alliance of conservatives and progressives that lifted him into power. Another regional election that may be interesting is the March Ishikawa gubernatorial election, where two LDP members will face off against each other in a split of conservative votes in the notoriously conservative region. The prefectural chapter of the party has yet to announce whom it'll support, and tensions are running high. If the Ishikawa race becomes very heated, the effects may spill over into the upper house by-election the following month. The election is for a seat from Ishikawa Prefecture, as one of the candidates in the gubernatorial race resigned as an upper house lawmaker to run. Deep rifts within the LDP may benefit the opposition forces, which would otherwise have virtually zero chance of winning a seat in Ishikawa. This channel will deliver up-to-date news about Japanese politics and elections throughout the year, so make sure to click subscribe and hit the notification icon to make sure you don't miss out. Thanks for watching.